Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. We bring the news to you. And I just thought this morning while I make my eggs, I'm going to show you what I've been doing lately. I saw this on Lily Kane's um, video the other day. Don't mind my little pan of giblets. I've got some. Let me turn that off. I've got a chicken in the crock pot. So we're going to do something with that later. And um, just wanted to show you what I do what I've been doing because it's just a nice way to make some eggs is um, crack your egg. I do it in a bowl. That way I might not break the yolk. I want to keep the yolk nice and uh, keep the yolk together, you know, not crack the yolk. There we go. Ah, I did it. Yay. Okay. And I just put them in this little uh, stainless steel pan and I plop them in the Plop them in the pan like that. And what she did that I really thought was good, because you want your whites to be cooked thoroughly, but you want to have the yolk as um, runny as possible for your eggs. So what she did was just put her, her eggs in the pan and just kind of scrambled the whites first. And then later, once the whites are really cooked, you want your white to be cooked all the way, You'll just go ahead and um, mix your yolk in with the white. But here we want to make sure this white gets really, really cooked in. So I'm going to try to drag it over here. And um, I've got butter in the pan. And it's a, it's a you know, um, oh, what do you call it? Non-stick pan. I just got this one. I really like it. It's not the hugest size, but it's like the next biggest size. I can't remember. Exactly, maybe nine inch or something, eight or nine inch. So you want to make sure for your scrambled eggs, you get all the white kind of mixed in there. And then once that's cooked together, see how fluffy it is. And I used, um, I have Nellie's eggs right now. I got those, I think a giant. Um, I've been getting some eggs at the Harvest Barn in Gettysburg, but these are from the Nellie's. They were on sale at Giant. That's the only reason I would have gotten them there. Um, but then you just kind of plop your yolk down in with the whites and it's almost, it reminds me of, of a soft boiled egg because you can, um, you know, you can just have the yolk runny and then the whites are thoroughly finished. So that's the way I'm making my eggs right now. They really taste good. I put the, I cooked them in butter and, um, I'm just going to eat them with a little salt and that's pretty much where we are. This morning, um, Richard's still in bed, <laughs> but I go ahead and make my, my breakfast. Um, I usually between nine and 10, I eat breakfast and, um, I have a pure boost electrolyte drink with it. I've, I usually have a cup of coffee early when I get up, but there we go. There's my egg and, um, it's going to be delicious. So I just wanted to share that with you. This is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you and... I'm going to make my video with my um, chaffle maker that I've got that makes four chaffles at a time, but I just haven't had the time to do that. Um, I'm finally out of my sling and cast for when I broke my elbow. Well, I fractured the elbow. So I'm finally out of that. My arm's feeling better. Um, I just can't put any, carry something with weight, but I will be making that video soon. All righty. I hope you have an awesome day. It's raining here. Um, because I'm cooking, the windows already are steamy, <laughs> but anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. And yes, I'm wearing a winter shirt. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.